name is Ira Shipley. And my name is Eve Greenman. And together we have a dream. We hope that someday we will be able to live in a tiny house of our own and possibly own a business. And I will soon build a tiny house in my backyard this summer. Today we have come to talk to you about the question, what if everyone lived in tiny houses? A tiny house is most certainly not a dollhouse. Tiny houses are small homes with an average footprint of 180 square feet or less. They are usually mobile or attachable to a truck or van. The average size of an American home is 2,600 square feet. That is so much more than a tiny house. Also, if we lived in tiny houses, we would have a very small carbon footprint. A carbon footprint is the amount of fossil fuels you release when transporting goods. You might be constantly buying multiple things that are from different countries. This would mean that you have a larger carbon footprint. If everyone lived in tiny houses, we would not have space for all these goods, so we would have a smaller carbon footprint. For example, it takes seven full logging trucks to get enough wood to build the average American home. On the other hand, it only takes half of one to get enough wood to build a tiny home. Also, if we were to continue our bigger is better lifestyle, we would be leaving less and less space for animals who have homes and food. The mountain gorilla and many other species are endangered because of deforestation. At first it may not seem like it, but this is because of the large portions of lumber harvested for the huge houses that we build. In addition to environmental importance, tiny houses allow us to afford things much more easily. A tiny house on average costs about $23,000, whereas the average American home costs about $300,000. Also, if we lived in tiny houses, Heating systems, cooling systems, and running water would cost much less. Therefore, they would not be used, this is because they would not be used as much. They would cost as low as $100 for all of it. Not only are tiny houses cheap, but they are time and space managed for. If you were to clean your average sized home, it would take you maybe like about four hours at the least, unless you're very good at cleaning. If you were to clean your tiny home, it would take you maybe even less than an hour. This is due to the amount of space. When you own a tiny house, you own less, period. Therefore, you have less to clean and less the hassle. In conclusion, tiny houses are first, better for the environment, second, affordable, and third, time and space manageable. Please don't feel guilty if you have a large house. Just help spread the word of the tiny house movement. And remember, you, you don't, don't need, need more space, space you, you need, need less stuff. Thank you.